Nana. Obviamente. Sí. Lo importante es que te escucho. Uh, si quieres, podemos utilizar el mismo diálogo, solamente cambiémosles las prendas y los colores. Sí, eso iba a ser yo. Pero espérame, que solo quiero entrar a la plataforma desde la laptop. Teacher. Sofía. Hola. Me escucha. Hola. Yo lo estoy armando. Hola. Yo lo estoy armando. Hola. Ah, ok, ok, continúo. <risa> Yo lo estoy... lo estoy medio trazando aquí porque no, no, no puedo terminar. Ok. Chistoso.
¿No avanzaste, Roxy? Just. No, it's bad. It's who's not a man. Mira, si estoy hablando de pantalón, uh -huh. es, es, is this, o is, o is this. Mm, this, creo que es porque solo es uno. Es singular, ¿verdad? Ajá. Pero. No, pero. Pero pantalón. Es que los dos tienen este. Blue jeans y pants. A lo mejor voy a cambiar la palabra. <ríe> <ríe> Me sale más fácil. Ajá, porque en el ejemplo dice this new blue jeans. This, uh -huh. estos This. son. Ajá, está hablando en plural. Hola. All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, is everybody finished? Is everybody yo finished? Aún no, yo aún no. Todavía no. ¿Cómo cuánto tiempo más necesitan? Dos minutitos más. Okay, two more minutes. Let's finish.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to continue. Section 4.4, lesson objective. In this class, you will learn how to use possessive in order to describe belonging or things. En esta clase aprenderán cómo usar los posesivos para describir la pertenencia de las cosas. Listen, please. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn how to use possessives in order to describe belonging of things. If you recall the conversation, it's a disaster, which you learned on our previous lesson. You heard how this topic is used. Uh, let me quickly show you that conversation dialogue and I'll point out the possessives in action. For example, if you notice the conversation, our clothes are dry. Where is my new blouse? Is it yours? Hola. No, it's not mine. I'm going to go ahead and grade those possesses that I want to emphasize on. In order to understand this topic, it's important that you understand the difference between possessive adjectives and pronouns and how they are used. So I'm going to draw a little chart to illustrate that. As you can see on this chart, if I talk about I, I will use the possessive adjective my and mine. If I talk about you, I will need to use your and yours. If I talk about he, I will need to use his and his. If I talk about she, I will need to use her and hers. If I talk about it, I will need to use its and its. If I talk about we, I will need to use our and ours. If I talk about they, I will need to use their and theirs. The next thing to understand about this topic is when exactly you use my or mine, for example. In order to explain that, I would like for you to look at the example on the screen. These are his socks. These socks are his. We want to keep the same example. So the first rule to learn is you will use possessive adjectives whenever the object is at the end of your sentence. For example, these are his socks. The object is socks. This is your umbrella. The object is umbrella. This is her car. The object is car. And um, let me point out what I mean by object. 
with socks, umbrella, and car. Now, you will use possessive pronouns whenever the object is at the beginning of the sentence or not mentioned at all. Let's work with the same examples to make sure that we don't get lost. These socks are his. This umbrella is mine. This car is hers. It's mine. The object I'm going to grade out and as you can see the object is at the beginning not at the end as our previous example. The last thing that I would like to explain is how we can use contractions to express possessives. As you can see on the chart under names, Pat's blouse Julie's jeans, Rex t-shirt. The apostrophe as means possessive. Whenever we say Pat's blouse, we are saying the blouse of Pat. However, we normally don't express the blouse of Pat. Instead, we use the contraction or the apostrophe as. Now is your turn to give as many examples as possible. Talk about your possessions and the possessions of your friends, relatives, and coworkers. For example, my car is black. The black car is mine. My uh, wife's dress is blue. The blue dress is hers. My co-workers computer is white. His computer is white. All right, guys. So what you're going to do right here is you're going to write your 10 examples here in the discussion forum. For example, this car is red, the red car is mine. This English book, this is an English book, the English book is mine. You're going to give me 10 examples here in the discussion forum. That's going to be your homework. All right, guys, see you Monday. Have a good night. Bye, teacher. Bye-bye, guys. Night. Enjoy.